Hey everybody, it's Matt here for another Talkie United match day vlog. Today is Boxing Day, it's Yeovil Town away from home, and we're off to see what Talkie can do. The form guide suggests not a lot. We've just lost six games in a row in the league, currently bottom of the form guide. Yeovil in the last six have, I believe, one, two, drawn four. Uh, plus they look pretty good at home. So this is not looking good on paper, but as we know, football isn't played on paper. So, what can Torquay do today? So hopefully with Jamie Reid back in the side today, we really need him, and maybe we can, maybe we should go 4-4-2 and stick Lewington up front with him as well and try and go for it, because we don't seem to be getting anywhere with uh, kind of a 4-5-1 approach. But if we could have Jake Andrews back as well, that would be a massive help, and, and Evans back is obviously big as well, he just needs to get more game time. So obviously we know there's the makings of a decent side, um, there. We just need to get some players fit and obviously the confidence is uh, at rock bottom at the moment. Johnson will um, definitely want to do well here because he used to manage at Yeovil twice, I think, on two separate occasions. So you never know in football and Boxing Day we've been quite good over the years so I'm going to make a bold prediction and say, heart saying a 2-1 win to Torquay, head saying a 1 all draw but you know, Anything just to stop the rock would be welcome. Well, Score prediction from Dad. Well, not sure really. Difficult to say. Probably, probably be a loser by the the way things have been going, but hopefully not. Well, you were wrong last time. You said we'd beat Chesterfield. Well, and yes. we didn't. So hopefully you're wrong again.
Leipzig. But it was 3 0 after 11 minutes. Do you think we're going to come back? Yeah, we're going to back to 3 1. You never know. Yeah, it is. No? Uh, I think it's going to go, the score's going to go up to them. Yeah, well, yeah, we had a spell where we looked like we might do something, and then we're lucky to come in at 3 1 in the end, I think. But yeah, 3 1, you know, if we can get back to 3 2, they won't, maybe they'll be a bit nervous. I don't know, but it's not looking good. Back in the car, Yeovil 6, Torquay 2. That was incredibly bad. That was, in, that was abysmal. Unbelievable. I, never, I don't think I've ever seen Torquay lose by that We've much. We've come over 60 miles and it was <laughs> not good football. I've no. seen schoolboys play better. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say. Every, every single area was just, I don't know. It seemed to completely change the structure of the side. I think there was three at the back. Didn't seem to really work, but maybe it's because we've got a lack of fullbacks. Um, Midfield just seemed to get overpowered, just give them a couple yards all the time, um, wherever it was on the pitch, and then they got the crosses in. Um, I don't know how many you conceded from the air, it might have been three, but yeah, just all over the pitch, there was just there was nothing really positive to say, I don't think. So, um, there we go. When will the losing run stop? I don't know, that's now seven in a row, it needs to stop soon because otherwise it's a relegation on the cards, I think. So, yeah, there we go. Onwards to Woking, brilliant, brilliant timing for that. <laughs> 